Welcome to this online video tutorial brought to you by HELPS. This video will introduce useful advice and tips on how to write an effective conclusion to an essay, report or case study. In a previous online tutorial video, we introduced you to a real-life assignment question and talked about how to structure the introduction to an essay. Here is that assignment question. Notice the key words, including academic learning and literacy centers and the most effective approach. It's very important to ensure that you fully analyze and understand the question before you start writing. Ultimately, your conclusion must demonstrate that you have fully answered the question. Please keep in mind the keywords in red which we will identify in our sample conclusion in a moment. Essentially, a conclusion consists of three main objectives. Firstly, it must summarize the arguments or information that has been presented in the body of the paper. The purpose of the conclusion is to consolidate the various issues or research data that have been covered in the core of your paper. Then it must restate the key points that have been presented and reiterate the thesis statement. Finally, it should comment on any implications resulting from your discussion of the topic. This could include recommendations, forecasting future trends or the need for further research. If you experience difficulty in writing your conclusion, you can always talk to a HELPS advisor or one of our volunteers. They're always ready to help you if you need assistance at any stage of the writing process. The essential elements of a conclusion must be carefully integrated and progress logically from one to another. Start with a sentence that links back to the main subject discussed in the body of the essay. Following this, give a brief summary of your argument or information to make it easier for the reader to recall the overall content of your paper. It's important to summarize the key points only. You may also wish to identify the main reasons, causes or factors that relate to the question that you've been asked to address. Restating your thesis at this point articulates the purpose of your writing and gives it a sense of unity. Finally, recommendations for future action or speculation on future trends may be mentioned here. Here is an example of a conclusion written specifically for this essay topic on academic language and literacy. You may pause the video at this point to allow you to read and understand the paragraph. You will notice that it comprises all of the elements that we just discussed. The first sentence links back to the previous paragraph. The use of keywords such as studying at tertiary level reminds the reader of what they read previously. The second element provides a brief summary of the information presented as well as some of the critical factors in this essay topic. The section in green serves to restate the thesis. In other words, it is reiterating the argument of this essay. Finally, the section in red provides some recommendations. It's a great idea to include this part in your conclusion as it demonstrates to your target reader that you've thought more deeply about the implications of the topic. Here are some important points to remember. Ensure that your conclusion always has a logical ending to what has been previously discussed. It must consolidate all of the parts of your argument and refer the reader back to the focus you've outlined in your introduction to the central topic. Generally, for a paper that is less than 3,000 words in length, one to two paragraphs should be sufficient to wrap up. The conclusion must always add value to your essay. It should add to the overall quality 
and impact of your writing. Be sure that your conclusion doesn't simply summarize your entire essay. It's also a good idea to avoid using long quotations. Be careful not to focus on only one minor point in the conclusion. It is essential to summarize all of the main points covered. A very common mistake that students make is introducing new material, evidence, or new points into their conclusion that have not been previously mentioned in the body of the essay. If you feel that you need more help in writing an assignment, you can get free help at the Helps Unit. We're located in Building 1, Level 3, Room 8, just across from the Concourse Cafe and the Careers Office. Our contact details appear on your screen. Please feel free to come and visit us and chat to an advisor about receiving academic language support to complete your assessments. We're at your service. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening.